Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Today's workout is called Leg Shaper in the Shire. All right team, so we're gonna go through a lower body workout and then this workout, I'm gonna show you guys lots of pictures from New Zealand, Sydney, and Brisbane, and the other locations that I haven't covered yet. This is a no repeat lower body workout. You don't need any equipment, your mat and your water bottle. Let's get ready to rock. All right, team, we're gonna start with just a simple warm-up. We're gonna go ahead and start with some butt kickers. So you pull one heel up towards the booty, then pull the other heel up towards the booty. If you want, you can keep it nice and low impact right here, or if your energy will allow it, you can turn it into a little bit of a jog. All right, team, do what's best for your body today. Good. So first workout of 2024, let's get it. So fun fact, I actually filmed this workout um, like weeks ago, like <laughs> prior to Christmas and the sun had was setting on me. Good team. Shake it out. Go ahead and step towards the back of your mat or towel right here and come to some walking hip uppers to a jog back. So it looks like this. I'm gonna take one leg, swing it around, open up the hip, other leg, swing it around, focusing on getting nice and loose in those hips, and then backwards jog it back. Good team. And in the last like five minutes of the workout, I tried to like lighten it up because the sun was setting and you just can't see me. So I was like, all right, okay, I was gonna edit it over Christmas break and then have it posted sometime during Christmas break and that didn't happen. So we are reshooting this workout. Good team. So anyways, we'll tell you about the rest of my trip. I already posted a workout covering the Great Barrier Reef. That was easily the highlight of my Australia New Zealand trip. Good team, go ahead and come into your natural squat stance right here and come into an alternating squat to hamstring stretch. So go ahead and squat it down. Come on up, hinge at the hips reach for those toes. Good team. Don't worry about getting super low in that squat or touching your toes in that hamstring stretch. Just give it that intention. Try and get a little bit lower with each rep here. Good. It's just a warm up. So the parts that I didn't cover, Sydney. I'll start there. We actually went to Sydney first um, and Sydney, I have never been to the UK, but everybody was telling me that like, you know, based on pictures that it looks a lot like the British architecture. You can see the influence, the English influence on the architecture there. I just know it was really pretty. Um, I thought it was, it showed me what a big city could be. It's like a lot cleaner and nicer than big cities in the US. Um, like I never saw a dirty bathroom the whole time I was there in either Australia or New Zealand. Good team. Perfect, shake it up, go ahead and take it from the top. We'll come right back into those butt kickers. Uh, remember you can always keep these nice and low impact right here. Um, so anyways, I thought Sydney was beautiful and lots of parks in it and I thought people aren't on their phones as much as they are in the US and I thought that was refreshing and good to see and they're really into fitness and so I, I'm not usually a big city person but I really liked Sydney and then Brisbane. Brisbane I feel like I can do the least amount of justice to. <laughs> good team, go ahead and come towards the back of that marital back into that walking hip opener to a jog back because I got sick. Um, I was kind of, not feverish sick, but I had a head cold in Brisbane. So I didn't really want to do much. Um, and we had the least amount of time in Brisbane, but we did a river cruise. The river goes right through the middle of Brisbane. And I thought this was really cool. So we did this river cruise and he said, yeah, like there's nobody swimming in the water here because there's bull sharks in this river. And I was like, what? Like, <laughs> why do you just have bull sharks? going through the middle of this big city, you know? So I thought that was crazy and really funny. And then he tells us this story. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like the, the cat taxi or the something like that. Anyways, it's a water taxi service. Perfect team, shake it off. Go ahead and come to that natural squat stand, back to that alternating squat to hamstring stretch. It's a water taxi service. And he told us that one day they were going along and a bull shark jumped out of the water, hit the front of the city cat, taxi thing on the water, rolled, rolled down because the whole thing's like covered, right? It's covered both, rolled over the top of it and then went off the back. And I was like, that's insane. Can you imagine just taking the bus to work in the morning and some big bull shark just rolls over your taxi and goes out the back? I was like, that's crazy. Good team. Beautiful. Um, so Brisbane's unique there. And we went to the Koala Sanctuary and got to hold a koala and feed the kangaroos. I really wanted to hold the koala. Just so you know, team, they're not specifically cuddly. Um, you know, and 
It's not legal to do that in any other state. My understanding of it is that only in Queensland, the northeast state of Australia is where you can touch and hold koalas. Perfect team. Shake it off. Go ahead and make your way down onto all fours right here, palms and knees as we come into a cat cow stretch. So go ahead and drop the belly right here, look forward and curve belly button to spine. We'll get out, get a little weird, find any tight spots. Good, arch and curve, arch and curve. And we'll go one more each, big arch and curve. Good team, go ahead and come to a neutral spine. Go ahead and bring that right leg straight out to the side right here and go set those hips back and forth in space a bit. Good, you, feel a, you should feel a stretch in that inner right thigh. Good. So anyways, yeah, the koalas were not very cuddly and I understand now why other states don't allow it. I don't think the koalas really like it that much, so I don't suggest it per se. Good team, same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and bring that right knee back under you and stick the left foot out. And I didn't really want to feed the kangaroo. Same thing here, set the hips back and forth because I was afraid of them. You know, I've seen like, kangaroos documentaries and they're just like yeah they're buff and they're like this and I was like I, what do you mean you can just go casually feed a kangaroo and it's like you know like two dollar feed and you go in this big open thing to feed them and this big open field and they're just hopping around and I was like that's insane and I didn't want to do it but my fiance wanted to do it good team go ahead and bring that knee back underneath you right here curl those toes under and peel the hips up nice and high into a down dog take a beat here to pedal off those feet shake off your fluff Good, and get a nice stretch in those calves going on. We are gonna use them. And then when you're ready, go ahead and step just the left foot up into your runner's lunge here. Let the toes feel slightly off, give yourself some space. Plant the right palm, take the left hand over and up, big twist. Good, you're gonna go from here, and then just give it the intention, don't worry about actually touching, but try and bring that elbow down towards the ground. Don't worry about you're touching the calf, the ankle, just do the best you can, all right, team? But alternate between those a few times. Big twist up. Bring that elbow down. Big twist up. Bring that elbow down. Big twist up, bring that elbow down, and one more each. Big twist up, and bring that elbow down. Perfect team, go ahead and plant the left palm, step that left foot back to meet the right, take a beat here to recenter, stretch out the calves, and then same little dance on the other side. Go ahead and step just the right foot up, let those toes spill off the side of your mat or towel, give yourself some space, plant that left hand, open up the right one, big twist. Good, and bring that elbow down. Big twist up, bring that elbow down. Big twist up, bring that elbow down. We'll go two more, big twist, bring the elbow down. And last one, big twist up and bring that elbow down. Perfect team, go ahead and plant that right palm. Take the right foot back to meet the left. Take a beat here to recenter. And then when you're ready, you'll take a nice walk up towards your hands. Meet your breaking point, roll it up. Get some water if you need it. And we'll come into our workout. All right, teams, we're coming into the first half of our workout here. We're gonna start with a squat with calf raises at the top and bottom. So it looks like this. Put, go ahead and put your feet in your natural squat steps. You're gonna come down, calf raise at the bottom, come up, calf raise at the top. All right, team, when you're ready, we got a full minute on the clock. Let's work. Just a reminder, this is a no repeat workout. So we've got 10 different exercises. Good, team. We'll do five, take a water break, and then do five more. Good, team. You can hear like a jet going overhead. So anyways, um, yeah, so my fiance was like, I'm gonna feed these, I'm gonna feed the kangaroos, which mind you, it's like $2, two Australian dollars, so less than that in the US, to feed the kangaroos, and it's like $50 to hold the koala, right? I thought the, the kangaroos were way cooler. <laughs> so anyways, I'm terrified. He insists on doing it, and he's got a lot of feet, you know, so he goes in, and I'm kind of watching him do it, and it actually looks really mellow. Like, a lot of the kangaroos are just kind of, chilling, they're just kind of waking up, and they're like, yeah, you can feed me, you just put your hand down. Um, you don't want them to have to reach for your hand or anything like that, so you put it down by their mouth, and they, they're, they're kind of cute. They nuzzle right into your little palm and they eat it, you know? So I was like, oh, that's adorable. Perfect team, shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and come into some pendulum lunges. So go ahead and bring the feet together at the center of your mat right here. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my left foot where it is. I'm gonna reverse lunge with my right foot, and then one big step, try to lunge all the way forward, front lunge, push all the way back, Reverse lunge, all right team? 30 seconds on one time, on one side, then halfway through we'll switch, all right team? When you're ready, we've got a full minute on the clock, let's work. Um, and so anyways, and also if you kind of catch yourself like in the middle right here, maybe you can't make that big pushback, don't worry about it, just give it the best you can. 
give it that intention. And so anyways, um, I see him feeding them and I'm like, okay, I want to try it. And so I fed this kangaroo and she was so cute. She <laughs> nuzzled in my palm and let me pet her little ears. Like she's absolutely adorable. Um, which if you want to see wild kangaroo, my understanding is like you drive inland, go ahead and switch feet right here. Um, and kind of go into the outback territory. And that is where you'll see them. Good team. And my understanding is that they're kind of like deer to the US where they're just kind of everywhere if you go in. So like deer in the US, right? If you're driving through a big city, you're probably not gonna see them. But if you go into the woods, you most likely will see them all a lot, you know? Good, at least that's what a few Australian people told me. Perfect team, shake it up. I'm gonna go ahead and come to deadlifts to four high knees. So it looks like this. I'm gonna place the hands behind the head right here. Put the feet about hip width apart. Soft bend in the knees right here. I'm gonna hinge the hips, poke that booty back, hinge the hips, making like a figure seven with the body. Stand it up, go four high knees. One, two, three, four. Back to the deadlift, all right team? When you're ready, we got a full minute on the clock. Let's work. This one's gonna get that heart rate up. Good. And kind of like in the warm up, if you want to keep those high knees low impact and turn them into marches like so, you can. Good. If you want higher intensity, then go ahead and kick it up. Good. Um, so that was worth it. The koala sanctuary is in Brisbane. Um, and you can hold a koala there and feed kangaroos. So anyways, that was pretty much Australia. Great people, great vacation. Awesome. So then we pop over to New Zealand. New Zealand is beautiful, most beautiful country I have ever seen. And it's funny because an Australian was actually telling me that they were like, I'm gonna retire in New Zealand. Wait till you hop over there. Like I've never seen a place like it. Everything is so green and it's true. It's kind of like how I envision Ireland in my head. I've never been to Ireland. It's on my bucket list, but like I kind of envision it with like, the rolling green hills and the things that you classically hear about. Perfect team, shake it up. Go ahead and come towards the center of your mat or towel right here. We're gonna come to a lateral lunge to a lateral leg raise. So it looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and lateral lunge out, push back, lateral leg raise. All right, team, stay on the same side for 30 seconds. Halfway through again, I'll cue you and we'll switch sides. Full minute on the clock, team. Let's work. Um, and so he was totally right. Like you go and it was like, you can just make a 360 degree turn and it's just green, green all around you. It's just beautiful. And so highlights of New Zealand, we stayed um, kind of near Hamilton um, in an Airbnb. Airbnb host was phenomenal. We got there and she's got like this giant thing of fresh picked strawberries for us. It says, welcome and perfect team. Same thing opposite side, go ahead and switch. Um, and she knows that I'm a vegan and my fiance is vegetarian and she's got breakfast for us in the fridge and she used vegan yogurt for mine. Um, she's got homemade scones. She's got a loaf of bread with three different types of homemade jam waiting for us, you know, which is just nice. Cause it's like, you get there, we got there kind of late. We don't know where anything is. It was so, it was like a nice personal touch to have food waiting for us there. Good team. Perfect, shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and come into a squat jack with a three count fast feet. So it looks like this, I'm gonna start with the feet together. I'm gonna jump out, squat it down, jump back to center, three count fast feet. One, two, three, squat jack. One, two, three. If you don't want to impact, it's also okay to step it out. One, two, three, step it out, opposite side. One, two, three. All right team, when you're ready, we got a full minute on the clock, let's work. So the other thing I noticed is that they're very eco-friendly, so she collects Rainwater, I thought this was so cool. She collects rainwater and she's got two 25,000 liter tanks under the house. And, you know, she started out with them. And I was like, Have you ever ran out of water? She has like a UV system to filter it and it's been cleared. It's like um, determined as like it's high quality enough that the water that you shower with is like drinking water. It's completely safe for consumption. And I was like, Have you ever ran out of water? She's like, that's never happened. Good team. And she bought the house in 2015 and then installed that. Well, she had that installed, you know? And she just very much so like wants to live off the land and I thought it was so cool. And then highlights of New Zealand, I'm gonna have to tell you <laughs> in the second half of this workout because our minute is almost up. Let's work. Perfect team. 
shake it off, get some water if you need it, and we'll come into the second half of this workout. All right, team, so coming into the second half of this workout, go ahead and step towards the back of your mat or towel right here. We're gonna come to some staggered stance, squat walks to the front, and then backwards dog backs. So looks like this. I'm gonna step out with my left foot, come onto the ball of that right foot, squat it down, step out with the right foot, come onto the ball of that left foot, squat, walking all the way up to the front of your mat or towel, and then backwards jog it back. All right, team, when you're ready, we got a minute on the clock, let's work. Um, so two major things that for me that were the highlight going to, I don't know if you've our Lord of the Rings or a Hobbit fan, um, but that movie set is completely preserved, the Shire. So we went to the Shire and it is phenomenal. Um, and then the second highlight was going to these glowworm caves. So I'll go in order of which we did them. We did the glowworm caves first and they were so cool. It's like, if you look it up online, the Waitama glowworms, Usually, most people just do like a boat tour through it and you go up and it just kind of looks like a night sky, right? These glowworms are up on the ceiling and you're just like, ooh, ah, oh, and you kind of roll back. Um, you can technically do both those activities, like lots of day tours will be like, oh, do both these in the same day. We didn't, we did it separately because I am engaged to an adrenaline junkie and he wanted to do, um, time's up, but let's kind of finish out this last rep right here. Perfect team, shake it off. Let's go ahead and make our way down onto all fours right here. Palms and knees. I'm gonna come into a bear hold. So I'm gonna curl the toes under and let the knees hover right here. Now from here, I'm gonna use my core, keep the core nice and tight. Put the right leg, kick it back, glute raise. Engage that glute, hit the left foot, kick it back, glute raise, opposite side. All right, team, this is much too much. You're also welcome to come down onto the knees and do glute kickbacks alternating from right here. All right, team, when you're ready, pop on up or stay down, pick your poison. We got a minute on the clock, let's work. And so he wanted to go black water rafting and it's like you're in inner tubes and there's a group of you and you go through and the first thing they do they you're in like two wetsuits because it's cold and you've got a helmet on and i'm like what on earth is happening and so first thing they do is kind of get you acclimated to what it will be like in the caves and so they have you jump off backwards holding an inner tube to your butt <laughs> going into this really cold water um, which was helpful to get your wetsuit wet and get you nice and insulated and whatnot um, and Sanjay Tal is like yeah we're gonna go off three waterfalls in these caves just like this we're gonna jump backwards holding inner tubes to our butts and jump backwards off these waterfalls landing in the water yeah I was like this is insane what did you sign me up for I'm <laughs> like highly displeased perfect team shake it off go ahead and Come on down right here and go ahead and come over to your right side. And we're gonna go ahead and go outer thigh lifts and then inner thigh lifts. So it looks like this. First, I'm just gonna lay on my side right here, put this front hand down for stability. And I'm just gonna lift this top leg for 30 seconds. And then when 30 seconds passes, I'm gonna plane that foot out in front. I'm gonna take the opposite leg, my bottom leg, and lift the bottom leg, engaging that inner thigh. All right, team, when you're ready, I'll cue you when we're halfway. We got a minute on the clock, let's work. Um, so anyways, so I was like, this is insane, blah, blah, blah. You know, like you go hiking and they kind of have like a trail cut out for you a lot of the times. It's not like that. Like <laughs> the conditions in the cave are the conditions that you're going through, however it naturally is. So, you know, you're ducking underneath all these rock formations and crazy stuff. And, you know, there's some parts where the water's really deep and some parts where there's no water at all and you are just walking. Go ahead and switch inner thigh lifts. Um, and so it's really, you know, you gotta have good balance on your feet. You also have like socks and some wetsuit um, boot things going on too. Um, and so there are parts when it's really crazy and you are going off these waterfalls and I was kind of terrified. The waterfalls are like less than five feet. So it wasn't actually that bad. Um, and then there are parts where the water's really deep and you are literally just sitting in your inner tube and they taught us how to do this when we were on dry land where they had us all lay on the ground and look kind of funny. Perfect team, go ahead and pop on up. You can just roll over. I'm gonna fully switch over so that I can stay facing the camera and go ahead and come down right here. Same thing on this side, we'll go outer thigh lifts and then inner thigh lifts. When you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock team. Let's work. Um, 
And so, and you you make like a chain. They're all in your inner tubes, and you put your feet on the inner tube in front of you, and that person kind of links their arms around your feet, um, and you can kind of relax your head. And so there are parts where the water's really deep, and that's all you're doing, and you're basically just floating like a lazy river. Um, and they have you turn off, you all have headlamps too, and they have you all turn off your headlamps, and you can just look up and see all the glowworms. In hindsight, that was the best way to see those caves. Because you get to explore more than just the glowworms. Go ahead and switch into inner thigh lifts. Um, you get to experience the cave for what it is, this natural rock formation and, you know, um, be at one with the elements. If you're going with grandma or something like that, then I wouldn't suggest going that route than just, you know, go on a boat ride. But if you are an able-bodied person, if you can get through this workout per se, then you are perfectly capable of going through these caves. Um, and yeah, it was really cool. So then probably the second coolest thing we did, perfect team. Check it out, go ahead and come onto your backs right here. We're gonna come to some single leg glute bridges. So I'm gonna go ahead and come down. Let me scoot down more so my hair is not in the sand. Come down nice and flat right here. I'm gonna bring one leg up and I'm gonna go ahead and glute bridge with one foot right here, switching the feet halfway through. All right, team, if this is much too much, you can also just bring both feet down and do glute bridges from here, squeezing those glutes at the top of each rep. All right, team, when you're ready, we've got a full minute on the clock, let's work. Um, and so the Shire, Shire is the other highlight. The Shire was so cool, team. You know how like in the movie, um, there's like sheep and there's gardens and stuff like that? It's all real, it's actually on I don't remember the number of acres, but it's like 1,200 or something acre sheep farm. That's what, that's what it's on. So those sheep are actually there. The gardens are real. There's really flowers and butterflies and bees. All that stuff is real. Um, I have lots of pictures that I'll show you guys with me next to hobbit holes. Go ahead and switch feet. Um, and then we did this on purpose. We went on December 1st. Um, we did this on purpose because they just added a new part to the tour where you get to go inside a fully furnished hobbit hole. And it was amazing. So we got to be the first people to see it. Uh, <laughs> that's the way we scheduled our trip. And so anyways, they said like, yeah, if you don't have to duck to get in here, then you're a hobbit. Team, I am just barely a hobbit, apparently. I could just barely fit underneath that perfect team. Shake it off, mind you, I'm 5'6", I'm not actually short. <laughs> Go ahead and grab onto the backs of those thighs right there. Use that to roll on up, get some water if you need it, and we'll come into our cool down. All right, team, when you've gotten your water, we'll go ahead and come down into our cool downs. Go ahead and come down nice and flat as you were. If you never bothered to get up, then you are ahead of the game. And so from here, go ahead and cross the right ankle over the left knee right here. Go ahead and bring it up, thread the needle, grab the back of that left thigh, relax the head right here, and pull that left knee into you. If this is kind of too easy, you can press that right elbow into that right knee and really open up that hip. Or if you're like, girl, this is enough, then just hang out here, just relax, take that heart rate back down. Good, team. Um, yeah, so went through the Shire. Just, I think even if you're not a Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit fan, it's worth checking out because it's just so cool. And being around the people that are like big time fans, like I'm a big Harry Potter fan. It'd be like if I went to London and went to all these Harry Potter spots and went to Hogwarts, like that's what it would be like. Go ahead and switcheroo, cross that left ankle over the right knee, grab the back of that right leg, relax the head right here. Um, and so the Shire was super cool and then at the end of it, you get a like a drink at the Green Dragon Inn. Um, and so they actually had vegan options. They have pie everywhere. They everywhere had like, like we have like chicken pot pie and vegetable pot pie in the US is kind of common. They have savory pies, like all types of flavors. Um, and basically everywhere I went, they had at least one vegan option. So they had a vegan pie for me that had mashed potatoes and peas and carrots and stuff in it. Um, so I had that along with my drink. Good team. Go ahead and unravel right here. Grab the back of those thighs and use that to roll it on up as we come into a butterfly stretch. Let me kind of recenter myself right here. So go ahead and come down on your butt. Bring the bottoms of the feet together. Let those knees fall out nice and wide. If you feel like something is hooked onto your belly button and is pulling you back, then just walk those feet out. Give yourself a little more space. You got nothing to prove to anybody. Um, sit up nice and tall though. Nice, tall, pretty, proud butterflies. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, that was the Shire. I have so many pictures there. <laughs> it's just a, such a cool place. And there's more sheep than people in New Zealand. So being on the sheep farm, honestly, you don't have to go to the sheep farm. You can actually just drive around and you'll just see sheep. And it's really cool. New Zealand, I can't say enough positive things about New Zealand. It's just gorgeous. Um, and so then 
Last few days, because we kind of have already done like the highlight things that we wanted to do, go ahead and unravel those feet team and make your way onto all fours right here. And then you're gonna go ahead and take just the left foot, step it up and rise on up into a kneeling hip flexor stretch. So get that right hip tucked underneath you, pull the left hip creaser back. Good team, and then lean into the stretch. You wanna feel a stretch in the front of that right hip flexor. And so, next few days, um, which honestly, you could spend a lot more time in New Zealand than we did. We only went to the Northern Island, um, and there's a whole Southern Island, and they can see the Southern Lights from there. Have you ever heard of the Northern Lights? So this is the other way, the Southern Lights. Um, and we didn't even explore, so there's so much that it's untapped. It's one of those trips where like it's impossible to see all of Australia and all New Zealand in one go, unless you're going for quite a long time. Um, good team, go ahead and rain those hands down. Pull it back, straighten out through that front leg, runner's hamstring stretch. But we did go and hike a waterfall. Um, we wanted to do that, I don't remember the name of the waterfall, but I will send pictures and look it up so I can label it <laughs> when I post this video. Um, but anyways, we went and hiked a waterfall beautiful beautiful running waters um, we went to the kiwi hatchery which kiwi birds are only that's why they call themselves kiwis um, in new zealand kiwi birds are only found in new zealand so that's worth going to i don't have any pictures of that because you can't take pictures in there they have lots of little babies and they're you know trying to get them up to adulthood and then release them into the wild. Good team, go ahead and come forward onto that knee and then bring that foot back. And then same thing, opposite side, go ahead and bring just that right foot up right here and then rise on up into a kneeling hip flexor stretch. Get that left hip tucked underneath you, pull the right hip creaser back this time and then lean into the stretch. You wanna feel a stretch in the front of that left hip flexor this time. Um, so anyways, um, there we go. Okay, so we went to the Kiwi Hatchery. I don't have pictures because they're babies and you're not allowed to take pictures in there, but they are so, so cute. Um, you can see them like, you know, through a glass. She's like, oh, this is our newborn. And, and so my understanding is that a lot of the Kiwis have like been wiped out just through like dogs, like <laughs> not like major predators, um, but it's enough to mess with their population. And so they have this big effort here to try and bring the Kiwi population back to higher numbers. Good team, go ahead and straighten out through that front leg, bring the hands down, runner's hamstring stretch. You can walk that foot out a little further in front of you if you need to. Good, keep a nice soft bend of the knee here. Don't fully lock out straight. Good. Beautiful, so that was kind of like our last day um, thing was like to go see the hatchery and we, our flight was at like 11 p.m. So we kind of like spent the day driving around. Um, and I honestly can just drive around New Zealand forever. It's just beautiful. There's mountains, there's ocean, there's waterfalls, volcanoes, glowworm caves. And our host was telling us that like, you don't even just have to go to Waitamo. There's lots of glowworm caves and that's just kind of the more touristy spot. But she's like, if you talk to a local, they can tell you where to go as well. Perfect team, go ahead and plant those palms. Bring that right foot back right here onto all fours. And then when you're ready, curl those toes under and peel the hips up nice and high into your down dog. Take a beat here to stretch out those hard working calves. I'm feeling kind of tight in my calves. So take an extra little beat here. Good. And then when you're ready, go ahead and walk those feet up towards your hands and slow as you've moved all day. Slowly, slowly, slowly roll it up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. What's 10 extra seconds? You have 10 extra seconds for some self care, feeling out your body. Beautiful team. And when you reach the top, we'll go ahead and come into mountain pose. Bring those feet together, palms face forward, and on an inhale, go ahead and bring both arms up overhead. Big clap, make a round of applause. Jai Namaste, because you deserve it. And go ahead and bring both palms down to the third eye. All right, team, stay tuned for pictures of Sydney, Brisbane, and New Zealand. They are glorious. And I will see you guys next time. Excellent work today, team. The divine in me honors the divine in you. Namaste.